You mother two. What's happening? I'm back again with another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys about EQ. Now I've done videos about EQ before, but it has been a while. It has been a while. If you guys have been watching the last two videos, I'm wearing this exact same thing. I told you guys I'm gonna get it all done in a day. I don't know when I'm gonna upload them. You know, they ain't spread me out a little bit, but I'm gonna get them all done in a day. So go ahead and like this video, subscribe, it's gonna be a banger. It's been a while, that means I've been working. That means I've been cooking. That means I've been developing. That means I've been getting better. Now I'm not saying I'm a know it all, but damn it, I know enough to show you guys something, something else, something new. I'm in studio one, as you guys probably could guess. But this will work for any program. I'm just gonna go over the basics of EQ. Now, this is for my song One More Chance. I've been promoting the dog living sh out of this single. Why not? I mean, I'm doing tutorials on it. It's coming out December 1st. Link's gonna be in the description. I do want you guys to start checking out my music too, because that's my passion. I enjoy teaching you guys, but my passion is to actually make the music just like you. Without further ado, I hope you already hit that red button that says subscribe and that uh, that thumb up button that says like. Let's get right into it. So the basics of what I'm gonna show you guys with EQ is, um, oh, that's Melodyne. That was the last video. What I'm gonna show you guys in the basics of EQ is like, really what you can do with it like how it how it works and all i don't know if i should use this eq or the presonus is pro eq this is infinity eq i like this better it's, it's by slate digital but for the sake of my users which by the way slate digital is nine bucks a month i would just go over there and go get it i if i were y'all I, I, I would get it i would go get it hold on all right but for the sake of this video I'll turn off EQ for Infinity, and I'm also going to turn off the Fresh Air from Slate Digital, which is a video in itself I need to do. This is, this thing is crazy. I turn that off, and I'm going to go ahead and add the Pro EQ for the sake of this video. So I like this to be on high quality. It's already set, and... Scoot this joint over, and we're just going to kind of just go over some basics with EQ and what's going on. So, I'm going to mute my, actually, I'll play it first. And I'm going to actually play it with the Fresh Air and Infinity, so you can see what I am what I accomplished. One, you're not in second place, girl, you know you're not. All I need is one more, all I need is one more. One more chance, all I need is one more chance, all I need is... Girl, you know... I ain't gonna give y'all the whole spiel. You know what I'm saying? I'm just kidding. All right, all right, here we go. So, that's what we want it to sound like. But here's what we have now. So, I'm actually gonna turn off the beat and we're gonna acapella. No, you know all I need more. is one more. One more. And I can already hear the difference. I hear a lot of mugginess. Now, this is just me EQing my voice, and I'm just showing you how EQing my voice works. So hopefully you can know how EQing your voice works. Maybe you might not, but as you're looking at me do my thing, I want you to picture you doing yours. So that was actually a pretty damn good saying, wasn't it? So the first thing I already hear is the bottom. I want to take it out. Now, if you look at this spectrum, it goes from low all the way up to medium to high, all right, to extra high. So from extra low to the muggy, all the way to the, the high, right? So let's get that muggy sound out of there. And that's going to be this red one. Now, there is a low low cut that Studio One added here, but I don't need it. But if you have like a very, very deep bass voice, or something like that. Like, if you have an 808 or something, that, that'll get that out. But I don't need it. My voice ain't like that. So, this is what I already hear. And there's... No, you know, all I need is one more. And you'll see this spectrum change. No, you know, all I need is one more. You see this getting cut out? All I need is one more. And you can hear it. All I need is one more. Chance. All I need is one more. Chance. You know you're not All I need is one more. Now that's a big difference already. 
getting that low out of my voice. I don't know if I wanted to. Now there's different ways I can make it. I can make it where it's cutting out more. I'm gonna show you guys. There's a 12 dB, a 36 dB as well. This depends on like how you want it. It's like a slope. You know what I'm saying? This depends on. You know, you know. All I need is one more. All I need is one more. I like mine's at 12, and I like it to go around here. All right. So next. I'm going to do the high part. Now, when I do the high part, I don't go all the way to the high frequency. Not at first. Sometimes not at all. For my voice. I go to the high middle frequency. Now, now with these, the low cut, the difference between the low cut and the, and the others is that I don't do the peaking. There's a shelf, there's a peaking, um, and I don't do that. Now, all these for between, let's say the high, the HMF and the LMF, actually LF, you can decide, I'm sorry, no, 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 LMF, you, you can't decide if you wanted to make it a peak or a shelf. And that's why I like working on those because I know that they have to peak. So now that's the difference between this, right? And in the Pro EQ, the, in, the infinity, and that's why it's called infinity. You can do anything on this, right? But we'll, more about that later. So for this, you can, what you really work on is the cueing. And you work on the frequency, where it's going to be placed at. Now, the frequencies are basically. You know, you know. All I need is one more. All I need is one more. What I'm looking for in the cue in the frequencies is the for the high is the tweaking like the sound that I want either in or out of it most of the time is when I want out of it so I got to listen close you know you know all I need is one more all I need is one more all I need is one more and then I want to take some of that out you know you know all I need is one more all I need is one more. Okay. Now this is because I really not, I don't sing that great. You know what I mean? So if you sing great, you might want more of this in. And then I'll go up to this high, high frequency, the shelf. You know you know. All I need is one more. All I need is one more. Now as you can see, and this is why I like the fresh air effect by Slate Digital. Because it does this without you, which is simply two knobs, right? Um, really, just one knob, just high sparkle. That's what we're doing is adding sparkle when I'm bringing this over here. And that's why I was talking about frequency. But it shouldn't have to be all that for me to do that. That's why I like Slate Digital. But if you want that, you see I'm moving the frequency over this way. And there's no cue because we're shelved. You know you know. All I need is one more. All I need is one more. So that gave it that sparkle, right? But to me, you know, you know, all I need is one more. All I need is one more. You see, and so without it, you don't get that sparkle. So you might want it to be over here. You know, you know, all I need is one more. And then you could be good. I mean, you can mess with the like for me. I I'd be good. But if I want to mess with some of the low or the middle. You know, you know, all I need is one more. You see, we want this gone, but let's cue on that. You know, you know, all I need is one more. All I need is one more. I know I want that gone. You know, you know, all I need is one more. All I need is one more. I hope this makes sense to you guys as I'm sitting here doing this. Um, I hope this makes sense. So it's just about cueing and finding what you want or don't want. It's about making sure you attack those lows and attack those highs. And then with the middle, you attack those too. You know you know. All I need is one more. All I need is one more. You might want to bring these lows, some of these lows. You know you know. All I need is one more. Now, like I said, without that fresh air, without the infinite EQ, you're going to have to do certain things that probably look a certain way. On your EQs, it's just like like just looking at this, you wouldn't expect it to sound the way it sounds. 
But it is what it is. And so then there's this low one. I might not need anything else out of my you know, you know All I need is one more. All I need is one more. All I need is one more. Chance. All I need is. And this is why I keep most of my volumes at zero unless I grouped and like have like a uh, the chorus or background vocals. Then I might turn them down. But most of the time, like often, most often than none. My lead vocals are at zero, and I'm messing with the game over here. You know you know All I need is one more. All I need is one more. But I'm a man. I don't want to take out too much of my lows. I'm just doing this to kind of show you where the lows are, where the highs are. So, yeah, that's what it is. So, uh, I'm going to put this back to default. I'm actually going to take out this Pro EQ. And I'm going to put my Infinite EQ on. Let's see how different they look. Yeah, I mean, kind of, it was kind of what you see, but as you can see, I didn't need to add the top part where you saw that high frequency EQ because fresh air. I just put that knob up and it gives me that sparkle that I'm looking for. Even for the mid air, it gives me what I'm looking for. So it balances it out. All I need is one more. All I need is one more. One more chance. All I need is one. Need is now, as you can see, the spectrum, it tells you everything you need to know about where you're at. And yes, the Pro EQ has a spectrum too. And you can, you can change how your spectrum looks by clicking this, like third. You know, you know. All I need is one more. You see how it looks? All I need is one more. The moment you do that, all I need is one more. It instantly drops and instantly shows you, like I can. All I need is one more. All I need is one more. So wherever you're taking it out you know or raising it up, you know you know. all I need is one more. You'll see your spectrum. All I need is one more. So that's so important so you can see your range and you can see exactly where you're at. Now, I'm teaching you guys this so you guys don't have to always use a preset and walk away and just depend on that and hope that it sounds great. Most of the time, you're just chancing it. All, all I need is one more chance. All I need is one more. This is your one more chance. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to keep chancing it off the presets. You control it yourself. So if you guys found this video helpful, please do me a favor. Like this video. Subscribe. It helps the algorithm. It helps other people because everybody ain't using Studio One and everybody doesn't know how to find these videos. So I want to pop up on people's recommended so that way... They can get the help that they're looking for as well. So I appreciate you guys for watching again. I got this single one more chance dropping December 1st. I got the link in the description. Check out Slate Digital. It's pretty much taking over the industry in my opinion. Waves, you know, it's it's a great thing. Waves is great, but I don't really need it. I, I use the RVox and H Delay and maybe a couple other things from time to time, but Slate Digital is that industry standard sound and it's making it a lot simplified lot simpler, simplified for us as artists who are engineering our own music. So uh, again, man, thank you guys for watching. It's all love. I'm going to go into the next video. I'm going to be wearing this exact same thing. Just like I said, if you guys have any requests for me, drop them in the comment box. I'm going to make sure that I get to them as quick as I can. But uh, yeah, man, Jesus love y'all. It's all love. I'm gone.